VIP visit. Uh, what do I need from that? Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. At the end, I cut it out. At the end, I finished, um, uh, dinner and everything. And I accidentally put the squid on the, on the recipe list to use. So I have to get another Humboldt squid tonight. Uh, so I need Humboldt squid, I need the Kylone. So today is farming, just like every other one. I, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm sticking by my choice to leave that shark be, but I need to get other shark. So, um, 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 um. Alright, I'll see you later. I don't know what I'm gonna leave in, so I'll see you later. Poor big beagle shark. Poor beagle shark shows up at six meters, but is an average length of three meters. It is known to attack swimmers and divers. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that shark. What the fuck are you? Devil scorpion fish. Okay. I thought it was just gonna be another stingray. Nah. You can just fuck off, you little twinkly sparkly bitch. Got a copper shark. And a devil scorpion fish. I've heard of the scorpion fish. I've never heard of a copper shark. Alright, so I'm gonna clean up my farm. And uh, we'll do the, the shark dinner. One of the most common man eating sharks. Maybe I know him by another name. Maybe that's why. Hmm. Devil scorpion fish. I got a bunch of sharks. This game is being oddly generous today. And you know what? I ain't too mad about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to stay positive today. We'll see how that goes. VIP day. VIP day and shark night. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station! Hello. Today is the day we've all been waiting for, with whose victory will this long-standing conflict end? Bancho, are you ready? Yes. What? Pastro? <laughs> Sona pronto. Let's get it started. Excellent! Let's begin challenge the chef. Let's go, fuck it up, Bajo. Boo, Bajo. Boo, little whiny bitch boy. Woo, boo. You kind of suck too. Woo. What are we doing today? Grab the squid. I'll pay attention now. Oh. Okay. Ah. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 I'm, so I'm sorry. That was a lot. That was a lot more than I was used to. Whoops. <laughs> what? I went I went left. What are you talking about? Uh 
Ah, it's just like breaking Grammy's back for her. Almost done, Grammy. Nice, pretty shrimps. Scrimps. You didn't devein them. What? What? Oh. I'm so can oh what 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 why did this get so hard all of a sudden the last one was easy you're throwing too much at me I'm not paying attention enough for that shit Paying attention enough is not correct. I can't keep up. <laughs> whoops, whoops. I I anticipated the wrong move. I pressed down. I thought it was getting I thought it was gonna do another down. I was patternizing and I should have. Yeah, I don't think I don't think my score is gonna be as good on this one. I think my score took a dip. Neither one of those look bad. I've never had um, squid oil noodles. Squid oil? Squid. What is it? Squid. Squid ink. Squid ink noodles. <laughs> Angry Italian hands. But I get on that one. 91, yeah. I definitely did not do as, as well on that one as I did the last ones. It threw too much at me too fast. I'm sorry. Mamma mia. I can't believe it. I, Pastro Ante Giovanni, defeated in a pasta contest? I can't accept the judge's call. I, this show is lame. I, not worth the time. Audible. Okay. That seems like a you problem, my guy. Who knew that? I did not so bad. <laughs> that guy is hot tempered. His carbonara was fantastic, though. It was unbelievable. I liked the combination of salty guansoli. I don't know what that is. And soft yolk sauce. It was heavenly. <laughs> then why didn't you give him the win, Vincent? Come on. Miss Lois, do you know why squid ink is used in dishes? Because it, it makes it black. It colors it. <laughs> what? Isn't that for the color? Why bother make the color like that? Not really, Mr. Lois. The visual is only part of the reason. Squid ink is reminiscent of the taste of nature's seawater. Yeah, it gives it like a fishy taste. But it's mainly used for the, <laughs> the color. When I tasted Boncho's pasta, I saw the dark and quiet sea. Black pasta and nocturnal sea creatures dotting the black sea Whoa. I felt like diving into the dark quiet sea naked at night yeah. why naked what the fuck are you doing what, what the fuck is wrong with you you fucking weirdo 
You know how many times I lost my dick to a fucking shark in this goddamn game? I don't think you want to do this. You don't know what you're fucking talking about. I do. Tastiness is very subjective experience after all. Even for a critic like myself. It's never easy to be objective. I like the taste of both dishes equally. Come on. However, I gave more points to Bancho for his near-perfect representation of the theme in every nook and cranny of his dish. <laughs> Your reasoning's so absurd! <laughs> Who do you know? Do you know? You do know! Jeez, so many wordings of the same thing. You do know this is the best spawn- biggest sponsor of your program, don't you? I do. Hmm. Nolan Crawford, the chairman of B&C Group, who is your father. He is also my sensei. You- you know my father personally? How was that possible? How was that possible you didn't know? Oh, story time. <laughs> okay. When I was young, I worked at your father's restaurant in New York. Back then, I was nothing but an inexperienced apprentice cook. I was lucky to be hired by your father. My first job was cooking omelets. Although egg is pretty common ingredient, it is one of the hardest to master. It's very hard to time the perfect moment to flip the omelets in a frying pan. I was struggling to figure that out. And... Someone tapped my shoulder with a smile on his face. It was your father. Nolan Crawford. Mm. Damn! Daddy hot! What the fuck? Oh. Also, you're grabbing a cast iron skillet with, a, with your bare ass hands. But you know what? Daddy can do whatever the fuck he wants. He kindly taught me. Oh, that's not his voice. <clears throat> He kindly taught me when and how to better flip the egg. He, the restaurant owner, didn't mind spending his precious time teaching a new hire. His passion and creativity toward food were truly inspirational. He was always looking for new tastes and experimented with new recipes. He failed more times than I can remember, but he would succeed in the end. I see! He is now an entrepreneur of the large corporation. I believe his passion would never change. I can feel it. Miss Lois. Why don't you try Boncho's pasta yourself? Oh, well, if you insist. <laughs> How is it? Mm. Ah, ah, crazy. That was one of the cooler cutscenes. Yeah, made a mistake, huh? Hmm? I'll admit I was prejudiced. The pasta is incredible. It's not just the visual, it carries the natural flavor of each ingredient. And I criticized the dish without even trying it. I'm not worthy to be in a re uh, to be a restaurant critic. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. We all have different philosophy about food. Bancho? Oh. I know it's a rather abrupt offer, but... Mm -hmm. Would you be interested in opening a branch? 
A branch? Oh. Yes. Another bunch of sushi. Mm. Sushi. Shoo, sushi. Oh. Clearly, there are many people who don't understand your food philosophy. But if they taste your food at least once, they will wake up to the new dimension of food. Mm. I want them to have that mind-blowing opportunity. Oh. But your current restaurant is too small. Mm. It's big enough for me. Mm. Your restaurant is already widely known. People will visit your place in droves sooner or later. Oh. You need to be prepared to maintain the quality of the food you serve. Mm. But if he opens a branch, it will be harder for him to control the food quality. You know, because he's not the one cooking it. What the fuck are you talking about, lady? He has staff members who sincerely follow his philosophy, right? Oh. They can be the manager of the branch. Oh, is he going to make the kid? Hmm. Manager, you say? Mm -hmm. What was the kid's name? The one of the Kylon? Don't worry. Trust your staff. They know what to do to live up to the reputation you built. Mm. Trust your staff and let more people taste your food. Mm. But I don't have a management system and funds to open a branch yet. <laughs> that I can help you with. <laughs> I know how to operate a franchise. I oh maybe he's, he's gonna let Miss uh, Miss Yoshi do it. Maybe that's who's gonna run him. I am well educated in the matter of my father. I have skills and the money needed. Do you? I know you have one of those. Oh. And I won't ask anything in return. Consider this a reward for winning the contest. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure if this is right. Boncho sushi without boncho. That's just sushi. Work it all. Bancho, I think you should give it a try. This will be a good challenge for your staff to grow farther. I should. Um, if that's what everyone thinks, I have no other choice. Pigeon. Pigeon. Fuck yeah, I'll open a branch. Pigeon. Well, what am I supposed to do, though? Order wooden planks or... Order... Or, order wooden planks or something? Huh? What does that mean? Oh, to build it. Oh. Don't worry about the construction. BNC Company will take care of it. You just name the manager and decide what to serve with what ingredients, Bancho. She sounded like she yodeled. Well, it's about time for the night shift. The construction will be completed by tomorrow, tomorrow morning. A whole building will be constructed within... Overnight? Huh? Man, that sounds like slave labor. Hardcore slave labor. I don't... I don't, I don't trust that. I don't trust you. No. She must be getting right? Even Otto took a few days to get everything in order. Huh. Anyway, I realized that I was close-minded about the new approaches to food. Would you like a head now? <laughs> I apologize for my poor review of your dish in the past. Oh. From now on, I'll help spread your food far and wide. Mm -hmm. I will contract you again when the branch is ready for business. You don't want to try the food? A shark head this time? Because tonight's shark night. I can do that. I have one. Let us begin the contest. Oh, that's all the shit from the farm. Okay. I got a lot of shark today. I've only had one cocktail order. I don't... I didn't understand how to do it. I had a lot of shark. <laughs> I got a bunch of shark. Uh, where are the sharks? So, I'm gonna try to make everything shark tonight because it's fucking shark night. Baby. It is shark night, right? I seem to remember that from the last one. Wait, let me upgrade that. No, 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 no. Enhance. I 
I can't? Since it's already up there, okay. Whatever. Yeah, I got a lot of shark. Everything is going to be shark, baby. Except for one. Because I don't have any more shark. I'm out of shark. Fresh out, actually. For the shark party, fresh out of shark. I know, crazy. Catfish. Fuck that catfish. Let me put enhance it first. Bump it, bump it, bump it. Uh, yeah, let's go again. Because those are easy as shit to get. Um. Enhance this. Yeah, never mind. The fuck? Fuck it, I guess. Um. I'm trying to see what costs the most. I'll put that one up there. It's only one, but, you know. Alright, I'll see you at the end of the night. Have a do! Why? Why were our sales so low? It was a... It was a shark night. I put literally all shark on the fucking menu except for one. And the top sale was the only thing that was not shark. Yeah, I failed that mission because, uh, fuck it. Fuck. Fuck Klaus. Fuck whatever her name was. Laura? Lana? Lara? I don't care. I hate that shark. That shark pissed me off. Uh, Miss Lois. The branch is ready for business. That quickly? <laughs> the administrative agility. <laughs> agility of the BNC group is top in the industry. Visit the branch with Boncho. I'll see you there. Hello there. A wonderful Monday. Thanks to your help, we were able to get a special in the magazine we issued today. <laughs> Keep it up. That was it. Fuck yeah. Oh. Go to the branch. Okay. Party will be held at the branch as well. The party will be held at the branch? What party? Prepare the necessary party ingredients. They have bats hanging from the ceiling! Oh, this is the branch. This place gives off tropical vibes. Mm. Not exactly my taste, but it blends well with the surrounding environment. They have bats hanging from the ceiling, y'all! How are you supposed to reach those drinks? Oh, and you can see the menu, too. <laughs> oh, this is a time-proven theme for restaurants on the beach. Let me explain how to run your branch. Obviously, you need staff members to run the business. Open the staff menu. Okay. You need at least three staff members to run the store. Mm, do I need that many? Yes, because neither you nor Dave will be here at the branch. Mm -hmm. So you need to hire a manager to supervise the business here. Can we hire Miss Yoshi? And of course, you need a staff in the dining area and the kitchen just as well, like the HQ. Mm -hmm. That is why you need a minimum of three staff members to open and run the branch. Manager. Mm -hmm. Right. The manager is the most important. Uh. It's because the number of ingredients available and the number of customers depend on your stats as a manager. Mm -hmm. It's best to appoint staff member with the highest stats to the manager position. Oh. oh. If I appoint a manager, they'll run the business on their huh. own? Nope. Your manager cannot run the business against the operation 
policy of the HQ. You just kind of contradicted yourself. You need to set an operation policy to give guidance to the manager, according to which the manager will prepare the menu appropriately. So I could instruct the manager what to serve as I fit, right? Like expensive dishes or dishes with the most ingredients first. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. Let's talk about ingredients. Open up the menu. Okay. Hmm. The grade of your manager determines the ingredients used at the branch. Hmm. Check the ingredients currently available and predict the sales <clears> thread. <throat> Well, it seems like there's no ingredients at the branch at most of the moment. Well, that's because it's not open yet. You can bring ingredients from the headquarters or from fish farm at any time. Mm -hmm. Click the deliver button. Mm -hmm. You can send or receive ingredients from here. As I said earlier, your manager cannot use ingredients whose grade is higher than theirs. Okay. Uh. Do I want to deliver? Why don't I just split it? So I don't know. Said 10 wheat to the branch. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh. I. Right? Uh. Okay. I'm sure you now understand what to do with the branch. I don't, actually. I'm more confused. <laughs> I now own a second restaurant, which means twice the revenue. Does that mean twice the revenue for me, too? <laughs> Only if you run it successfully, might I add. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes, okay? Oh. Let more people experience your culinary revolution, and I'm sure they'll love your recipes. Okay. Manager. A branch of Boncho Sushi is now open. Assign a manager and employees to the branch to send the required ingredients to run the business automatically. Okay. Can I do that when I'm putting stuff on the menu for tonight? Doesn't that mean Halloween? <gasps> is it Halloween time in the game? Oh my god, it's Halloween day. <gasps> Ooh. That's why there's bats. I wasn't even paying attention to the date. Okay. Um. I don't. I don't know what ingredients I want. Uh. So I need to hire people. How do I hire people? That stuff? Operation policy? <laughs> uh, there's a lot. Um. I don't. How do I hire staff? How do I. Do I have to be at mine to hire staff? How does that work? Hang the Yoshi. Fireworks. That's pretty. Can I rank up yet? It didn't move. I... Okay, I guess I'm not getting there. Because I can't figure that one out. Because even when I do try to level up... Can I call Yoshi? How's my fish doing? 
Oh. Um. Oh no! I'm so sad. Uh oh. I forgot about it until just now. I, mm, uh, I don't know how to do this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all, have I been dumb this whole fucking time and I can leave whenever I want? And I was bitching about not being able to leave when I come. So that's why I haven't been able to feed the cat. Because I was worried about not being able to leave. Can I leave like I can the farm? Hold up. I need to test things now. I need to test it. There's no fucking way I was this dumb the entire time. Please tell me it wasn't this dumb. Please, 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 please. God, please. Please. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I hate... <laughs> The exit sign blended in. Hi, baby. You hungry? You're so welcome. Oh. I'll put out an app. Uh, I'll put out a flyer. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, Maki. Maki is the kid. Do I want to send the kid? Because their cooking is the best. Um, dispatch? Do I want to dispatch them? Swap? I think dispatch, right? Dispatch to obtain olive oil. What is... Ooh, I can get mayo. Oh, I have to bring someone else in to dispatch. Okay, so I'm extra confused then. How? Because it said to have someone from my team. Already. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna train you. Okay. Ooh, irresistible charm. Yeah. So now Itsuki is level 7. Uh, let me raise... Oh, Kyoko, Kyoko is in the kitchen. Uh, I have to raise... Cause I need I need my servers to be better. Seems to have prepared something. What have you prepared? Okay, your peel. Hold on. You have cooking. You're a drink server. 
Your serving is better. I'm going to switch you. Swap. How do I do this? How? You were a ninja? I trained as a ninja for several years, but it wasn't easy making a living as a ninja. Leave it up to me, my lord. Okay. Mm. I don't think I ever talked to them. <laughs> if you keep on practicing, you become a master. Okay, that was boring. I become a great cook and make my father proud. Sure. Opening only for the evening, but I'm exhausted. Such an hour. Such a late hour. Ingredients. Get the menus ready before operating hours. Okay. I st How? Um... That's how. Remove. Now I'm gonna put... Do I wanna put him in the kitchen? Or do I wanna put him in the kitchen over the other place? I'm gonna do this. Do I have to open tonight? Do I have to? Okay, so I got the girls out with me, and then Pie and Maki in the kitchen with Poncho. Okay. Well, I'm going to go do my farm and fish and shit, so I'll be back. What is this? Aquamarine. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? What is that? What, 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 what just touched me? The fuck was that? It just touched me. Why did why did that why did that ore fight back? It's vibrating. What the what? Okay, why? Uh, is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? Yes! Sea dragon! I got a sea dragon, so they're down here. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna start catching me some fucking seahorses again. I got a weedy sea dragon. And I got one of those beagle sharks. Yeah. And I got one of its babies. Yeah. Get mm. fucked. <laughs> now let's read about him. Uh, uh, yeah, I got one of these too. I let it go. Because I was dying on space. Um, sea dragon! Lives in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Australia. It is difficult to distinguish from the sea seaweed when seen in rock crevices. Grows to a maximum of 45 centimeters and its tail is not curved, making it a distinct species from seahorses. I love this leafy sea dragons. They're my favorite. I fucking love them. They're adorable. Wait! I got that shark too. Uh. Uh. Eh? Did I skip over it? There it is. I didn't even see it. I'm gonna try to get stuff for my gun. I'm gonna try to upgrade that, so I'll be back. Crystal lobster. Type of American lobster that has translucent white body due to albinism. It occurs with a probability of 1 in 100 million. It's the rarest lobster in existence. Okay. 
She pretty. Red banded lobster, a type of lobster that lives in the Pacific region. Has relatively small pinchers and cray for a crayfish and a light orange color throughout its body. Four distinct red band patterns on its legs. Happy Halloween! Ah, oh, I just saw that in the background. Okay, so I got all the Kion for the sea people and the spider crab for the sea people. I didn't give them my opal because I only got a few. <laughs> and I want to keep as much as possible for my gun because I need 10 of them. And I only found one opal deposit. So I want to keep as much as possible. I also found the salmon snailfish. I don't know why it's giving me the cookie cutter shark again, but I got one of those. I need another one for sea people also. Brittle sea star. I took care of the fucking blood jellyfish, the ones that explode. I didn't know I needed the comb ones. I didn't look. I still need to bring a narwhal up. Uh, that means I gotta take a dart gun down. Nah. Okay. Uh, I got a bunch of kaiju, so I don't remember if I got this one, but I got this one. Dramatic, okay. Uh, Godzilla 1994, which is Godzilla versus Space Godzilla, you know, who would have thunk? After Space Godzilla arrived on Earth, it was drawn to... Birth Island. Birth Island? And attacked Baby Godzilla. The space kaiju trapped Baby Godzilla in a crystal, prompting Godzilla to follow the clone to Japanese city of Fukuoka. Okay, okay. Got this one. Godzilla vs. Destroya. When Godzilla's internal energy core became unstable, a chain reaction began in the kaiju that ultimately led to its apocalyptic meltdown. Godzilla glowed, gr glowed red as his heat rose to dangerous levels, and his body let geyser geysers of irritated steam. Mothra. That's what Mothra sounds like? It's kind of lame. Mothra, 1961. Godzilla was 1995. Uh, Mothra, 1961. Worshipped as a living deity. Mothra is an ancient and enormous species of moth that functions as the eternal guardian of infant island. The Mothra larva spins itself a cocoon after arriving at Tokyo Tower and later emerges in its imago winged form, enabling it to fly to Rolosika to rescue the twins. I don't know who the twins are. Biolantry. Lantry. Okay. Why are they spelled different on here in, like... See, the name is spelled one way, and the movie title is spelled different. Uh, 1989. <laughs> Sounds like a lonely bird. Okay. The initial rose form of Biolantri that appeared in Lake Ashi 
produced from a mixture of DNA taken from Godzilla, a rose, and Dr. Shiragami's dead mo dead daughter, Erica. Okay. Although BioLaundry's ivy-like tendrils allow her to grapple and battle, she's no match for Godzilla's radioactive heat ray. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh I don't remember which ones we've seen. This one. That is literally just somebody's furry OC. Like, come on. If you can't tell me, it's not. King Caesar, 1974. Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla. Wait. So there was another one, Mechagodzilla? In the ancient kingdom of Ryukyu, located in what is now called Oinkawa, the guardian of Azumi tribe royal family was a kaiju known as King Caesar, or Shiza. Resembling a cross between a lion and a dog, King Caesar's form may have been inspired may have inspired the lion statues that are commonly found around the region as artifacts of the Riku culture. Is that true? That's cool. Oh, I hate it. Why do you look like that? Ew. Ew. Yeah, that's my least favorite looking one so far. God Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla again, 1994. The growth version of Baby Godzilla living with Godzilla on Bias Island, affected by radiation, has become a state with strong monster traits. Height 30 meters. What does that compare to the other ones? It's tiny. So it's like a little smaller than Mothra. Okay. I have not been looking at any of their heights. First time I realized it said height. I've just been looking at the movies. <laughs> Alright. Uh what else do I have left to do? I can't look more in the glacial area because I need the hot suit and I haven't met anyone to make me the hot suit. I'm guessing when I finish this one is when I'm going to get the hot suit because, you know, he wants hot food, hot suit, yada, 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 yada. That one's just, you know, kaijus. Need another cookie cutter and opal. Alright. Alright. I'll keep doing that on the next episode.